goddamn right. All right, everybody, undivided attention on me. I missed the beginning of the show, but did Frank tell you that we are trying to raise money tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I told you. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> Let's take a look. Call Jerry Lewis, because we're going to be fucking out doing that fucking <laughs> motherfucker. We have six, I think like six dollars here. Wow. <laughs> All right, so... Fellas that are going on the tour, we can either get enough gas to make it to Seward Junction, or we can all get some Twizzlers. You guys can call. So feel free to drop like, you know, tens and twenties and hundreds and credit cards, change it, we don't give a shit. Ah, it's capitalism, baby, it's America, let's get on board. Woo! You guys like America? You like living here in this great country of ours? Woo! Yeah. America! I love America. I hate Americans, but I love America. <laughs> I hate Americans because we have to be the most gullible people on the earth. We have to be. In no other country could the online psychic trade and call-in psychic trade work. Only here. I'm not actually sure about that. I think it may work in other countries, but instead we give them our credit cards. Countries like Romania just hand over chickens and goats and shit. I'm not sure if it's the same thing. It's okay. We can make fun of them. They're poor. They can't do anything to us. <laughs> Uh, I just don't understand the whole psychic concept. I just think it's unbelievable. Does anybody here believe in that shit? Psychics? Anybody? All right, so we have one stupid person in the house. All right. It's, it's ridiculous. Have you ever seen like John Edwards crossing over? You have 400 people in a room. He walks up to one person and goes, I think, I think I'm connecting... I think I'm connecting with your grandfather. Yes, it's your grandfather. Uh, he wants you to know that he's very happy where he's at. Okay, so you connect with my grandfather in 32 seconds. I'm no expert. I don't know if there's an afterlife or not, but I'm pretty sure there's been a lot of human beings and a lot of us have fucking died. So I'm thinking if you're trying to make connections to the other side, it might take a little bit longer than 30 seconds. There's got to be some sort of directory you have to go through. It takes me two hours to find something in yellow pages, but John Edwards can find my grandfather in 20 seconds. I know they're frauds because every time it's a happy story, the grandparent or the mother or the father or the brother or sister is always very happy and they just have happy things to say to the person trying to contact them. Just once I'd love to see a psychic go, yes, I've got your father on the other side. Oh, a, lot, a lot of negative energy with him. Oh, he, he is really racist, isn't he? Uh, he wants me to say that you're a disgrace to him and your family name. Now, he really does not like Jews, does he? He is not going to shut up. It's ridiculous. But we do, uh, we do have it good here in America, in case you haven't noticed. We've got a constitution. Maybe you've heard of it. Keeps us safe, lets us vote, lets us buy guns. All the awesome stuff we hold dear as Americans, right? Here's what I don't like about the constitution. People treat it like the fucking Bible. They're always trying to interpret it in a different way to get their own fucking meaning out of it. I think that's a bad idea because we've all seen Jerry Springer and we've seen somebody try and interpret the Bible and it always ends up like this. Well, Jerry, I don't quite understand what uh, the book of Mark means per se, but I'm pretty sure it's telling me to hate the Negress. <laughs> That's, that's just my interpretation of it. <laughs> I, I think it's a dangerous ground when you start interpreting things. Sorry, Frank. Jesus. <laughs> 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 uh, We're too PC in this country. As you know, poor people are no longer poor people. They're now underprivileged. And rich people are the fortunate. And another word for poor people is the less fortunate, which is kind of a stupid thing to me. I mean, that tells me that if a couple more breaks had gone their way, they could be the CEO of like Boeing or some shit. I don't, I don't buy that because I don't think the guy that hangs out in the alley behind Katz's Deli masturbating all the time <laughs> was just a couple of life steps away from turning it around. <laughs> No matter what he did in his life, the only result for him is mastery meeting behind Kansas Deli. I don't like that illegal immigrants are now called undocumented citizens. I don't like it because that's what I am. I'm chronically unemployed. I haven't, played, I haven't paid taxes in two years and I don't have any sort of form of ID. I'm an undocumented citizen. Not only are they taking my job, they're taking my fucking title. I can pick the fuck out of some fruit. 
<laughs> Show of hands, who voted in the last election, 2009? All right, keep them up, keep them up. Everybody up. Uh, all right, now, if you voted for Obama, keep your hand up. All right, about half the room. I did not vote for Obama. I don't care less about his policies. To be honest, I don't pay much attention to politics. I just didn't vote for him because I don't think he's a black man. <laughs> I think he's pulling a fast one on you. Let me tell you something about myself. I grew up in South Texas, so I think I know a little bit about black culture. I watched the OMTV raps. <laughs> And in all the Obama speeches I've seen, not once have I seen the man use the word crunk. So I'll let you be the judges on this. I actually did vote for McCain, not for any political reason. I just thought it'd be awesome to have like a president who's 107 years old. Because it gives hope to the rest of us if we can make it that old. I can't wait to be an old guy. I want to be the guy at Luby's that's slapping every, eight, every waitress on the ass as they pass by. And they turn around, there's nothing they can do because you're just like, what? <laughs> Senile. <laughs> Just uh, go grab my tater tots and be ready because when you turn around, you know what's coming. 